In this lesson, we'll review a math question from the problem solving section. We're on page 732, question 13 out of 16. This is a moderate question. This question is really not difficult at all. It's not inherently hard, but a lot of students miss this question just because they don't know how to solve it. This is an Algebra 2 question, and there's a good chance you'll see at least a couple of these on the test. And I've attempted to draw the function here, but just look in your book for a better representation. We're given that this function is a graph y equals g of x. So the first step, if you haven't done these before, it doesn't matter what the letters are. So it could be g of x, it could be b of h, it could be k of a, it doesn't matter. But what, what I want you to remember is inside the brackets is always the x coordinate is left or right. g of x equals y. Now sometimes you won't even be given the y, so we could just be told that this is a function of b of h, and you need to know that once you shift left to right, you touch the graph, and that is the y. So let's go ahead and solve this. We're told this is y, the function y equals g of x, and we have two steps here. The first step is g of 2 equals k. Now you have to recognize the k is the y, even though they kind of switched the order. g of 2 is, is the x-coordinate, k is the y. So the way to solve these, it's always the same. The first step is, this is always inside the brackets, the x, so it's 2 to the right. If it were g of negative 2, it would be 2 to the left. So 2 to the right, we're going to go right here, that's 2 to the right. And then to find what the value is on the function, we have to touch the graph. Now the, the graph could be b below the x, but in this case it's above. So right from 2, we're going to go straight up. And again, I haven't drawn it that well, but if you look in your book, it's probably easier. <laughs> but what point is that on the y? Look in your book. That point is 5, and so k is 5. That's the first step. So remember, left to right, touch the graph. Now we're told that g of k equals what? That's what the question's asked for. We just figured out that k is 5, so now we have to figure out g of 5. So it's the exact same step. Inside the brackets is always left to right. So now we're going 5 to the right. That's going to be right right here. We go straight up and touch the graph. <laughs> and again, look in your book. But it's really clear it's not going to ever be between two points or ambiguous. It's pretty clear it's right between 2 and 3. If you look at the grids in your graph or that you have in the textbook, but g of 2, the answer here is 2.5. So it's not an inherently hard question. It just you need to know the rules. It's always left or right and then touch the graph. We had two steps of this. The answer here is 2.5b. All right. See you next time. Thanks for watching.